What's up guys, it's the detective back again, and today, well actually yesterday night, we got some amazing news, but I'll be covering it today. Basically, TCG Player leaked a ton of character cards from new Bakugan from upcoming sets. Some of these Bakugan we didn't even know were going to become a toy. So yeah, it's really exciting, let's dive right in. So the main thing that everyone is talking about is the reveal of all of these new Hydronoid cards. As you can see right here, we have Hydronoid Core, and he looks like an absolute beast. And yeah, the character art is great. 300 B power, 6 damage, and he's actually a double shield. I know, not the best uh, images that I'm using, but I just really wanted to get this video out quick. And definitely check out TCG Player and look at some of these other character cards. And here he is, Hydronoid Ultra, and he's actually really great. Double fist, 1 damage. 200 B power and on a fist, or sorry, 700 B power and on a fist he gets plus 200, which is amazing. Anyway, as you can see, we have a bunch of these other character cards. Here we have Phaedra's Core, Pyravian Ultra. The art looks amazing, and I just cannot wait to see that Bakugan in its toy form in all Aquos. So, yeah, this is actually interesting. Cloptor Ultra. We had no idea that this was going to become a thing. It was actually a recently introduced Bakugan to the show. And it's really great that we're actually going to be seeing this. This is the only version of Cloptor that we've seen. And he honestly is not really all that good. But it's definitely nice to know that we'll be getting a toy version of Cloptor. And yeah, Cloptor is basically the newer version of Tentaclear. We also have Zentar, which we knew about. We knew that he was a Bakugan, similarly to Cloptor. But again, no idea that he was going to become a toy. And I'm also so excited to see how this guy is going to look uh, all done. And yeah, this is him in Darkest. We also have Darkest uh, Dragonoid Ultra, which we already had the Evo for, but we didn't know much about it. So there's that Darkest Phaedrus Core, and that's actually anime accurate, so that's cool. Kubo in Darkest as well. And then this is what everyone's been waiting for. Hydronoid Ultra, Double Helix. That's really cool. I don't know how good he will be, because we haven't seen any Evos yet. But I'm totally using that in a deck, no matter what. Here's the Pyrus version, as you can see. And that one's actually upcoming in a future wave. Another Bakugan, which we thought that we would never get, was Artulian. He was featured in, like, Episode 2 or Episode 3 of the actual show. And we finally got confirmation in Pyrus. That's awesome. Vice Rocks Core, Vice Rocks Ultra, Phaedrus Core with that double fist. A lot of these new Bakugan are just so good when it comes to Baku cores. As you can see, Nilius has the double helix, and actually all of the Hydronoids are double cores. So it's just one core type, and then each Hydronoid version just has two of the same core. This is really awesome. Ventus Sindius, if you're in Discord, you know that Ventus Knight, who's the community manager, he actually has Ventus Sindius core, uh, that art, as his profile picture. So definitely excited to pick that up. As you can see, Ventus Hydroid, who is also in uh, the upcoming battle packs in Wave 5. And here's another cool one, Pandox, which is, uh, I believe, Colonel Trips, his Bakugan. Again, we had no idea that he was going to be getting a toy. We thought that he was anime exclusive at first. So again, it's really just nice to see. And yeah, so Vice Rocks Core and Vice Rocks Ultra are also coming up. Kubo is coming up. It's just crazy that there are so many new Bakugan. And if you guys want to see the toy versions of these actual Bakugan, I did a separate video a few months ago when we saw them at Toy Fair uh, for most of these that we saw there. So definitely check that out. Phaedrus Ultra, Kubo and Aurelis. You can see Vice Rocks, just a ton of new Vice Rocks variations. And then there's the core Vice Rocks. Aurelis Hydronoid is insane. 200 B power, 2 damage, double uh, Red Fist, and then when he gets a Red Fist, he gets plus 1,000 B-Power. That is insane. But, yeah. Uh, that's just a whole video. I've, I haven't even made any cuts. I've just been talking straight through it. This stuff is so exciting because sometimes we see Bakugan and we're left wondering, well, it's a cool toy, but how cool is it going to be in the game? And this is sort of the opposite. And now I really want to see how some of these are going to look, especially the Hydronoids and also some of the ones like Artulian and Zentar and Cloptor that were just revealed that we had no idea we're going to be getting a toy form. So yeah, that basically wraps up my video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm the detective, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.